little unsettling to hear that noise, like somebody needs help, but that is the sound of a peacock and apparently causing some drama in an Eden Prairie neighborhood. Two peacocks roaming a neighborhood for years, and this morning one of them was actually captured. But another is still on the loose. Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us live. So Rob, some people consider them friendly. Others, though, well, they think they're kind of annoying. Yeah, a little bit of a division here. You can still hear the uh, lone peacock off in the woods. You can't pick it up on the microphone, but it is squawking out there. This, uh, these pair of peacocks that have been here for years have become a little bit known as the celebrities in the neighborhood. There have been other stories done on them over the years, social media pages devoted to them, but uh, not everybody likes the sound that they make and, and the nuisance that they might create, which is what led to, to today's uh, developments. Peter and Paul have been here probably five years. Up on our deck, we feed them up the back in the winter. The names of the two peacocks of Eden Prairie vary depending on which neighbor you talk to. They're exotic. People go, oh, there's the peacocks. To Kelly, who didn't want his last name used, they've always been Peter and Paul, and said the pair have always been welcome in the community, if not a bit celebrated. People have peacocks in their yard, little statues. People have peacock pins. Mongoose, all that. Yep, that's one of the males calling right now. Um, somewhere off in the woods there. So. But on Tuesday morning, a privately hired wildlife control crew came in to try to round them up. <coughs> Their loud calls considered by some neighbors now a nuisance. The city said they'd heard complaints, but they remained uninvolved. And this private effort was half successful. We were able to get one um, safely too. Uh, no injuries to the bird or anything like that. And. Um, we're not able to get the second one. He uh, ended up sneaking away. The captured peacock, they say, will now go to a sanctuary out of the metro, while the other remains free in the woods of Eden Prairie for now. They are part of the neighborhood. We want them here. And this is not an entirely popular development in this neighborhood. In recent years, neighbors have been posting pictures to the EP Peacock's Instagram page. And last month, one took to Facebook, reacting to news they might be removed to write, we of the group friends of the EP Peacocks are sad and upset a consensus was not reached. Kelly says he still hopes it's not too late to intervene. I want the other one back. And I'm sure the rest of the neighbors would, too. I'm going to send out an email. You'd like to see him return? Yeah. Back to where he's been for five or six years. So you can see the uh, divide that's happened here again. They're well known in this area, and they're certainly uh, very well heard in this area as well. And again, now down to one, so we'll see kind of how this uh, shakes out here. But again, uh, uh, people love them or they're very annoyed by them, it seems to be that the, maybe there's not as much middle ground here uh, for these uh, celebrated, but uh, again, divisive peacocks. Yeah. Oh, Rob, I just feel I, I can such see, a tough story. Yes, yeah. I can see both sides and your heart kind of pulls both yeah. directions. So, uh, well, we'll see, I guess, like you said, how this all shakes out. Yeah, all I just right. feel bad for the tension that yeah, it's created in the I neighborhood too. All right, all right, good story, Rob, thank you.